week's episode is brought to you by Blue Harvest Vintage. Are you a collector? Blue Harvest love to help you find that missing piece you need to complete your collection. They have extensive stock of vintage Star Wars vehicles and mint on card action figures, as well as new The Force Awakens and Black Series items. Blue Harvest have Funko Pops, Lego, Dinky, Corgi, Matchbox and more. Everything a collector could possibly need. If they don't stock it, then let them know, and their knowledgeable staff will be only too pleased to help. Reach out to Blue Harvest on Twitter, at Blue Harvest UK, Facebook, Blue Harvest Vintage Collectibles, or email at blueharvesttoys at gmail.com. Welcome to TSW After Dark Side, a fully armed and operational podcast platform. <laughs> I'm recording again. Yeah, oh, okay. I, I would be a lot happier if um, all the I've made a lot of effort on that mm. uh, outro. Got yeah. everyone to put their get their files together. I had to cut them all together, and. Um, then I had to sit and record my parts, but for some reason, the record my parts just sound dreadful, really, really yeah. awful. And I don't, I don't know why. That's I think, really weird. I think I'm on top of the whole Garage Band thing, but I don't know, I'll have to, I'll have to start. I don't know why it's, um, why it's being affected. I don't know. I don't know the answer. No, it's, it's one That's of those things. It's just, me. it's tough to know. Sometimes these things can just be gremlins. The other night, right, is a perfect example. So we had an E14 recording session, and it was a really nice session. It was me, Brad, and Omer. And um, Omer and Brad, in the last year, have both become fathers. Oh, really? And it ended, and it ended up just being a really nice chat about being a dad. And it was, you know, like I say, it was it was absolutely lovely, and I really enjoyed being part of the, you know, even though I had nothing to add to that particular bit. Mainly heckles, to be honest, but then that you know it is for, <laughs> it is first and foremost intended to be a funny experience. The old uh, uh, the old crazy train, yeah. So you know, but at the same time, I was really it was really nice to be in the room while that discussion was happening. I think it will make for a really nice. It'll be a, it'll be a different episode to what people are used to, but at the same time, I think it will be a really nice. People will still enjoy it. So we're recording the second second podcast, the E14 Gamecast, and. Um, my laptop screen goes dark. And I was like, oh, okay, that's weird. It must be because I've not been touching the keyboard in a while. So I started wiggling the mouse. That's usually what does it. And yeah. nothing happens. I was like, shit. I bet. And I started thinking, shit, that's, a, lost the that's probably... lost Or like, it's a Windows update that's gone wrong or something. And I'm Bloody thinking... Windows. Well, hold that thought. So, Because <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're not wrong. Um, oh, no. So I'm, I'm sitting there thinking maybe because I've... I think something happened similar and I was able to salvage it or something like that. I don't know. I was in my mind. I'm thinking it's not the end of the world. The crazy train is, is locked in. I've already saved that. That's all set. I've started a new recording for the game cast. So that's fine. So the crazy train is in that situation is what matters. Cause I can knock, knock together a game cast with Blake in 20 minutes. That's not yeah. a problem. So we finish, um, the laptop comes back on after I start hammering the keys frantically and pounding my head against the fucking desk. And, um, turns out that was the magic reset key. Who knew? <laughs> um, but I have forgotten math since then. Every, you know, every, silver, every silver lining has a cloud. But um, so they left, and I was sitting there at the at the laptop, just tinkering with a few bits. And I thought, that's odd. My mouse isn't working anymore. Like I'm I'm moving the mouse, and nothing's moving. And what had happened was, I still don't know how, but Windows Update had, had applied, and it had said, oh, "I'll restart later." So that's fine. So, I, like I said, I thought that I thought that was the reason the laptop was fucking about was because that now was later. What it turns out to have happened is the operating system had just removed my Bluetooth functionality completely from the laptop. Oh, so the mouse, which is Bluetooth, wasn't being picked up. So that's why it was staying. The screen was staying black, which is a really odd problem. That's particularly, weird, yeah, particularly when after an hour and a half of frantically googling it because. It's said at my work all the time, the most, the best developers in the world are the ones who can Google the fastest. Yeah. So, and these are the devs saying that, so I, I feel no pain in saying these things. Um, so I'm frantically Googling, trying to figure out how the fuck I'm supposed to fix this, and it just starts working again. I just restarted it like four or five times, and it just fixed itself. Bloody hell. Bloody computer. And that's when... It, uh, seriously, right? Because there's no world in which that makes sense at all. And yet, there it is. Really bizarre. Yeah, it's a nightmare, isn't it? It's an absolute it really, nightmare. It's, say, 
But as I say, it's bad enough that I thought, fuck, that's my recording fucked. But then to think, that's my laptop fucked. <laughs> you know, I've not had it that long. I was thinking, I'm going to have to, and I'm, all the time I'm Googling, I'm thinking, fuck, I'm going to have to go back and deal with Amazon. I'm going to have to send it away. I'm going to have to find a way to get my stuff off it before I send it off. I'm going to have to go back to the Sony, which is not so bad. You know, that's a bit of a first world problem, I guess. I have to go put my backup laptop. Um, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> As but, you can you know, complain in your 50s are too crisp. Oh, quite so. Um, some days we can't even afford to heat the pool. Um, <laughs> But in the end, like I say, it just fixed itself out of, out of the blue. So I don't know if it was the fifth restart that was magic, but there you go. It's it's all fixed now, and it makes no bloody sense. No, uh, I had um, I had a nightmare at the weekend. I'm just going to pop an image oh, yeah. into the uh, chat to show you. Oh, okay. I Let's had to um, do a photo shoot at the weekend, which I haven't done for a while. Oh yeah. Oh. Okay. Just with family. Because um, it's my mother-in-law's birthday. Oh, okay. And, that was a uh, well, I don't know why that's my go-to. I really don't. <laughs> I don't know why that is. Right. Is that a screenshot? Yeah. So uh, is this going to work? How is this going to work? Let's have a look. Copy. I'm doing a Bluetooth. Um, Show what, an, an air... An AirPlay screen share. Okay. I've just fucked everything up with one click of the button. On a Mac? Yeah, that's it's not the Mac. That's oh, I'm kidding, that's I'm kidding. definitely my fault. Ra la 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 la. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, so I did I went and did this um photo shoot with my wife's brother and his family. Mm-hmm. Okay. And I did one previously a few years ago when I was doing when I was more active as a photographer. I was doing wedding photos, wedding wedding yep. photography, and things like that. Okay. And um, some product photography and some portraiture and all that sort of stuff. And yep. um, my wife said to me, "Can you take a photograph of all of us, of us and Chris, mm-hmm. my brother-in-law, and his family, and we'll put it on the I canvas? Know Chris. You know yeah. Chris, of course you do. Um, yeah. We'll put it on a canvas and give it to Lisa's mum for a birthday." And okay. it's all got to be high key photography. So that's the white background and yep. the, you know, no shadows and all that sort of stuff. Mm-hmm. When I did the original image that's currently on their wall, yeah. I had um, a proper white backdrop and mm-hmm. proper photography kit with the big soft boxes and the lighting umbrellas and everything yeah. and a and a really nice DSLR. Mm-hmm. And um I went over there and we knocked this photo shoot out previously and it and it all worked out well. This time I went with not a DSLR because I sold it when I gave up wedding photography and right. I've just got this little Sony mirrorless camera with really nice interchangeable lenses but it's not okay. a DSLR. Yeah. And um it's nice but not that nice. Not it's nice but not that nice. I've got no lighting kit. I've got right. no backdrops. So uh-huh. I just went like armed with nothing but confidence and a white sheet and did this photo shoot and then I had to spend two and a half hours doing the image to get the results in the end and this is what ended up this is what I ended up with oh god I'm so I'm I'm a little nervous oh don't be I'm I'm actually quite relieved that it worked out as well as it did okay okay there's um, it worked out okay then there's a before and after I won't send you the before um okay because it's stored on the server there it is it should be in there now that's ju- just the screen oh that's really it. nice so it's worked out pretty well um i had to repair my niece's socks because she had a hole in her sock right so photoshop's a wonderful tool they all look really well but yeah that's good doesn't it yeah no it turned out really nice Two that just a, goes to show, mate. This is why you're the. This is why you're the tech genius. Two and a half hours in it's, Photoshop. <laughs> yeah. It was a mission to get that toy box done, but I'm glad. You know, I'm really glad people are enjoying it. It went really well. It's gone. Seems down to have, really it seems well. to have gone down incredibly well. Yeah. Like far, far better than I deserve. Yeah. You know? It was uh, <laughs> not more. at all. Hey, you're not supposed to agree. No, 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 not at all. It was um, <laughs> all. Um, Good timing with the launch of the new page today as well. Yes, absolutely. And, yeah, I think uh, that's And also, I think maybe we'll maybe we'll talk about the other 
the other benefit off here, actually. All right. Because uh, I don't want to come across as cynical, but it was... Um, it's Get all... more of their money. No, no, it's not money. All it's, their um, fucking mug money. <laughs> it's just gone really well. I'm just really pleased yeah. with how it's been I'm, received, the kind I'm, words I'm from everyone. Really, yeah, I'm really pleased with it. It's so I couldn't have asked for better feedback, really. Just, just, uh, just wonderful. I got some really nice, a really nice message from, um, his name's Tim. Tim yeah. Simons, yes. Yeah, he, me- he messaged me out of the blue. Um, unless he's just, fi- just found me on, oh yeah, he just found me on Twitter. That's what it is. Um, and he just sent me a really nice DM that's just, you know, huge fan of Talk Star Wars and the Commonwealth and just really grateful for everything we do, which is, it, it's the kind of stuff like that that's exactly what I needed after yesterday. Hmm. I've been saying from the start, when we, I'm not after, I'm not looking for accolades. I would rather oh, I'd rather reach <laughs> I'd rather reach a hundred <laughs> active people than a thousand disinterested people. Totally fair. And um and I think the that sort of feedback is mm. a is a barometer. It's just Absolutely. nice to see that we're doing something right. You know, I had this little Facebook live before we recorded and I was asking what people might want to see on the Kessel Run or you mm-hmm. know, are, are we making best use of the time that we're demanding of them? Even if yeah. it, if it's only ten a ten minute podcast every day, it still adds up. Is I it know. is it the I best understand. use of that, or is it going to start to become an annoyance? Yeah, yeah. And I it's understand. like I was sort of saying to people about the um, about the toy box. Get you know, get send the guys emails. Let them know what you want on there because it helps you. Oh, for sure, Jeremy and Mark set your stall out from yeah. the start. Then doesn't it? Oh yeah, make no mistake. Mark's given me a bloody laundry list of awesome stuff that we can talk about. But I'm always happy to hear other ideas too because yeah. we could you know however big or small we can work these into any you know we've got so much freedom to, mm. to tinker with this stuff and i've obviously you know this is still early days for uh what's it called you know for the podcast because it's only at episode zero so yeah there's all sorts of there's all sorts of space to play in so people yeah. if you're listening you've got stuff to say then chuck it our way by all means very happy to hear it <laughs> Yeah. Um, should we record this teaser trailer between us? Sure. Yeah. Do you um, want to? Didn't you say you wanted to do an after dark side as well, the intro or something? Uh, yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. We do. We need to do something because I'd like to sort of streamline things because we used to use a different intro every week and we'd rotate it when we. Uh, yeah. Terrible on my throat. Doing it live. Let's just do. Um, Obviously. Absolutely. Let's just, let's just do one. Um, intro that I can use every week, week in and week out, because I'm going to rebuild these base shows, I think, and sort of okay, Fair and do away I'm... with all the flab. What's that? Yeah. Is there, any pre- is there, a, is there a particular favourite phrase of yours? Um, uh, the fully armed and operational fandom was, is, a, is okay. a good one. The fully armed and operational podcast platform. Yes, yeah, that's the one. Yeah. yeah. All right. Do you want that as Palpatine or Palpatino? Palpatino. Palpatino. Oh, no, no, right, no, no, do, do, do Palpatine because Palpatino is a little bit too much do, inside baseball, isn't it? Let's do one of each. Okay, see man. which one sounds. They might both sound all right. Okay. Okay. So we want, so it's a fully armed and operational podcast platform. Okay. Welcome to TSW After Dark Side, a fully armed and operational podcast platform. <laughs> That's good. That's good. That's good. All right, cool. So then that's take I know one. I, I know I crashed your vocal, but I'll be splitting channels, so it doesn't matter. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. You won't hear me on yours. All right. All right I'll just go. You ready for the second one? Or hang on a sec, mate. I just need to write oh, down the time code. Sorry. Um, oh. Ad. I'll say. Intro. I'll take. I've taken a copy of just the. Um, just when I started doing the take, so yeah. So then my my clip will only be about a minute. Okay, mate. Yeah, far away. When you when you're ready. Welcome to TSW After Dark Side, a fully armed and operational podcast platform. Hoa. <laughs> Superb. <laughs> right, let's um, get this uh, let's get this promo knocked out then, so we can get into the show proper. Um, if we just go alternate lines, so it'll be weird, but... Oh, sorry. Oh, shit, I just have the show notes up, shouldn't I? 
Um, it'll be jazz. it'll be me with the opening line, and then you'll take Steve line Steve's line. I'll take yours, then you take Paul, and I'll close out with the... so I'm doing Steve and Paul, yeah. Yep. And I'm I'm bre- I'm losing you a bit. Are you? Yeah, just just very very slightly. My uh, computer went a bit funny as well, which might be part of it. All right, okay. I haven't got anything going on here. You should have them. Okay, we ready to do this then? Yep. So I'm Stephen and Paul. Yeah. Yeah. Let me just write down the teaser time code so I can go straight to this. Okay. On the next episode of Talk Star Wars, we discuss. Will there be a trailer for the Last Jedi at Celebration? What happened to Darth Vader's castle on Mustafar? And Michael K. Williams joins the Han Solo movie. All that and more on the next episode of Talk Star Wars in iTunes on Monday. Look at that. <laughs> One take wonders, mate. Isn't it? That's what I do. Just pro. That's what I do. That's how I do it. <laughs> Was it Kyle's question about... No, it wasn't that. Dave, Dave Donovan's. Was it one of Dave's? Dave? Oh. Dave yeah. Donovan. Yeah, I'm looking at yeah. you now. Dave Donovan. Was Doko's, was Doko's original plan to have Obi-Wan bring the Jedi Council over to his way of thinking? If so, would that have led to a civil war? I didn't think of that one. I think the other one. Yeah, the oh. second one, Paul. Have a, read, sorry. have a read through that out loud. Not too long. Uh, right. I recently got the latest edition of the Totally Amazing Complete Star Wars Locations book. I didn't know there was such a thing, chaps. Mm. There's a number of questions and possibilities raised from little nuggets within this book, but I'll focus on two. Firstly, it talks about Yoda on Dagobah and says, without distractions or any means of leaving Dagobah to confront the Emperor Darth Vader on his own, Yoda's been able to devote the years of exile to pondering ancient Jedi texts, meditating on the deepest mysteries of Force, and using his Jedi skills to communicate with Obi-Wan and other exiles. Ooh. It just because it, it's in exiles. stars, it's obviously, yeah. So, does this leave the door open for Ezra, Kane, and Ahsoka? Remember, he could also be there as another in a totally different way, meaning not Leah. Well, I don't think it meant Leah anymore anyway. I think it meant Anakin. Interested to hear what you guys say about other exiles and no technological means to communicate with anyone dug about. Um, he doesn't have any technological means that we know of. Um, but, like you say, I mean, I didn't even realise till we did the, um, the, uh, the running commentary what was, you know, down by the tree and so on. Now, yeah. that was, I am assuming, the force playing with Luke's sense of reality. Uh, obviously, it's not there, but you have to wonder if that can happen, what else can happen sort of thing. Mm. Um, that, kind of, that, that kind of blew my imagination open in relation to the, what, you know, what can be delivered by the force and so on and so forth. So, mm. Yep, about the other bit. Um, I'm still going. In the same book, it features a super detailed map of Maz's castle. Oh, there's more to Maz's castle than we saw? <laughs> Any of you learn that the castle was an ancient site of the Jedi Sith battle and became a Jedi temple. Oh, and this is a crypt in the basement with a buried Jedi. And it's right next to the room where Ray finds it lies. So, are you serious? This book the, really this needs is, to be. Yep. This is real. That, all, that, all that did, stuff you know, all, did you no, know all this? No. No. What? no. Have Basically, you, so, we, have we, you we both, both just gone. The book this evening? What? <laughs> yeah, it's just blown out. It does say Maz is a collector of things and a giver of mm. things to people at the right time. Could it be that look, so Maz is like this, um, she's like a Del Toro for Star Wars almost. Yeah. Could it be that Luke has visited Maz Castle at some point and actually found the saber earlier but left it with Maz knowing someone one day would come to find it? Could this explain how she came to have it? And then the whoa, that's like a mega, mega pile, isn't it? Great. Yeah. It's a lot um, there, isn't there? Just well, to be honest, the question's far more important, far more interesting than any answer you could actually throw at it. To be yeah. honest, well, so that's other exiles mean Kane and Ahsoka did Luke go to Maz's castle and leave the lightsaber? No, 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 because she found the hand because it was flowing through space in the beginning. We all know that. <laughs> I'm amazed you didn't know this. This that's funny. Yeah, yeah. cool. Oh, yeah, no. fans. <laughs> yeah, I know, but you can't consume it. Haven't him. read, haven't read all the everything. reference books. <laughs> <Yeah>. So <laughs> I both asked you, but I guess you've downloaded it this evening. <laughs> no, 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 I, no, I think I will definitely go looking for it, though. Do you think you're going to get, we, uh, you, sorry, uh, we're going to get a full stop on Snoke in episode eight? We're getting a puppet, apparently, in part. Uh, really? Anyway, part, but part we're going to find out who, though, 
he, she, it is. I don't know. Did you see my theory, Paul? Uh, I haven't read that yet, I'm afraid, sir. Read that. Do it now immediately and do Do it it. out loud. Do it. And no, I'm not. I'm not do Jack it. and Orying tonight for everything. Do it. Do it. Um, do it in a naughty voice. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> talk, talk nerdy to me. Do it. <laughs> you stop it, please. Do it. In a semi. Oh no! Oh fun. my! Well, no, that's not an innuendo. That's literally just. No, you I, I, that's I just actually saying it out. It's just a bonus. I, I do actually live in one. A set. Yeah, okay, I get you. Mm-hmm. I'll get you, I'll get you. Where is the new Snoke theory? I'm not reading it out loud, Mark, so... Uh, this is reading out loud. That's what you do, you go... You go oh, that's, 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 oh, that's not... Oh, that's lovely. No. That. Oh, he didn't. Oh, yeah. Oh, she didn't say that. It's very weird <laughs> no. hearing... I, I'm... One minute I'm listening to audio recordings of people sounding quite professional, and then I tune back in, and it's you two having this, some sort of mental breakdown. These, these fuck, these fuck badgers. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to do thirty to thirty-three. Ooh, so you're implying he's he's an, just an entity. Yeah, that jumps from body to body. And that's interesting. And he could have been with Ben metaphysically. You have knowledge of a metaphysical man, Ben? <laughs> so are you, are you saying he can cohabit, cohabitate or inhabit? Inhabit completely, I think. It, like the body that snugs so that, in. All right, does that mean Ben wasn't Ben? No. Okay. No, I think Ben. The idea being that um, Snoke would slowly lead Ben away from the light, so that he could make him a complete dark side user, and take control of that body later on. Oh, but I mean? it's, it's, it's got to reach a certain level of you I, know nastiness I, yeah, before th- it's worthwhile to him. Yeah, I think he needs to completely. Complete grooming job, then. Yeah, completely break that person. Like we were talking earlier about Dooku. That's pretty nasty. Mm. Oh, that's nasty. Going, yeah, but about... he's going beyond the realms of standard Star Wars stuff. I mean, this is, you know, you're yeah. talking almost little horror stories now. So. And they did say um, this film's going to be dark and weird. That's a direct quote from Ryan Johnson. And this film will do stuff that no other Star Wars film has done. Mm. So that all qualifies. When you say dark and weird, it's Paul Rubens in it. Yeah. Right, I've just... Broke fucking awful HTML code when I first started doing HTML. Everybody does, mate. Yeah, this, you know, just makes me annoyed. Just, just anchors, <laughs> anchors and reference links everywhere. Yeah, this, well, it's not even that. It's just it, rather than I didn't know how to do paragraphs, in com- like the, how the how to em- encompass paragraphs within tags. So I used to just do um, line breaks over and over again. You can span it though, can't you? You can encompass yeah. it with a span or something, if I recall. Yeah, yeah. I haven't touched that stuff in a long time. A love a very long time. You know HTML? Well, of course, I know HTML. I, I trained basic HTML. Before actually mm. taught, actually taught it. Oh wow! Okay. And very no, it was, it was an intro course, mate. It was, you, you wouldn't have got nothing from it, trust me. Oh no, that's I still think that's impressive. I'm Absolutely. well chuffed for that mix now. Oh, 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 that's no, it was does, awesome. The, that was the mix itself sounds great. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that's that's much better. I don't know why it wasn't exporting it earlier without taking yeah, a poo on it. I don't know what it was Ooh. probably. It's probably some tick box setting that just. Yeah. It doesn't so it looks right on first glance? But it's, it's the um, yeah, you're right. It's the crap in its mouth setting. I had that on. Um, <laughs> Shit on my slippers. <laughs> I think, oh, I'll tell you what. Even it's got, it's even got um, even more amazing implications for things like show notes in the on the website and stuff. I can make them a bit more jazzed up. Jazz hands. Jazz hands. 
jizz hands. Uh, oh, no. that's just that's sticky. Disgusted, <laughs> disgusted sealer. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> oh, no. Just how far do you have to go to discuss? <laughs> To discuss, to discuss George Decay. George Decay. Well, especially considering some of the stuff that's, you know, the interview that surfaced with him about st- on Stern. Christ, he's good. <laughs> disgusted George, disgusted Hans Sula is genius. <laughs> oh, my, oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's really tickled me. Oh, right. Oh, it's, no, I don't think it's, to, it's not supposed to oh, tickle you, mate. <laughs> That's oh, what you shit. get on the uh, talk Star Wars after Dark Side is uh, something yeah. culturally penetrating. Oh my! Oh my! <laughs> oh, that's all. That's not so bad. Oh my! Oh, <laughs> he was Scottish, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, my butcher, bastard. That was the guy in um, the Force Awakens, wasn't it? The Scottish guy. Bolitic. Uh, uh, yeah. Han Solo. You're a dead man. Yeah. You bastard. <laughs> I love that. I love that scene. You wee shite. To Lata Kanji Club. Fucker. <laughs> that would be a Malcolm Tucker style one, wouldn't it? To Lata Kanji Club, you shit dribbler. <laughs> it's very train spotting, isn't it? Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> no, no more. It's just too good. <laughs> I love it so much. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bro. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. We need a we need a show title for the main show tonight. Right. Oh, bloody! Can no. someone help me? How do you phonetically? Oh, 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 bro. oh. <laughs> Actually, making me feel sick. It's just, it's too, it's, <laughs> it's too, too noise, good. isn't it? I'm sorry, it's too guttural. It's good, it? Oh, it's somewhere. That's the only fucker. I'll do that. That's that's for. A, I can do that for later. I'm just at the moment. I'm just getting everything in there and making sure it all fits. <laughs> oh my! <laughs> oh. <laughs> right, gentlemen. Yes. I think I'm gonna go. Because right, mate. I've got to record the voicemails off of my phone now because I've managed to lose the originals. Okay. Um, which is going to mean I need to get rid of you in order to do that. I do. Oh. <laughs> You're not actually going to publish all this, are you? Probably not all of it. Not no. all of it. No. We some only need half an hour now. We've sort of set. Of a, we're, we're kind of setting a standard gradually that um, yeah, half we, an hour is going to be the Thursday. And we've just recorded forty nine minutes, and we recorded half hour before we started the main show. So I've got plenty of stuff to pick through. Yeah, it was a bad one. <laughs> I have them. Not, not many of them, but I do have them. Ouch! <laughs> right, guys, I am going to love you and leave you. Thank oh, you, thank you, mate. Right. Thank okay. You, and we shall chat. I'm sure continually through the week. Yeah, yeah. probably. All right. Bollocks. Cheers, Bye-bye. guys. I'll speak to you later. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Talk Star Wars is a proud member of the Star Wars Commonwealth Podcast Network. Find us at StarWarsCommonwealth.com alongside the Tumbling Saber Podcast, the Generation X Wing Podcast, the TSW Roundtable, the Skyhoppers Podcast. And the Nerd Room Podcast. Head to StarWarsCommonwealth.com and take your first steps into a larger world. It's a wrap. It's a wrap.